Hey guys, Ruby here with Unorthodox Aquatics and let's finish up our tank tour. So behold tank tour part seven. Now here I've got a couple nanos. Um, they both do not have any fish in them. Um, I did just plant these. This one has a bunch of snails and then this one has a few pond snails, but otherwise it's just planted. Like I said, I pulled up all my plants and I kind of rearranged things. So I uh, rearranged this one and replanted this one. This is a six gallon low boy that was actually made to be a terrarium, but um, I converted it to a cute little uh, six gallon aquarium. Might uh, throw some shrimp in here. I've got some leads on some golden yellow backs and some black really shrimp to maybe add to these tanks. So, just a closer look. Here we have some mystery snails, some Malaysian trumpet snails, a Hercules rabbit snail. Another rabbit snail, zebra, nearite. So yeah. And I also have another small tank in my bathroom. Here it is. And this tank has a couple cherry shrimp in it. So they're in there somewhere. Might add a snail or two. This one was also a small little uh, terrarium that I converted. Behind me here is a 54 gallon pent corner tank in the middle of my kitchen. <laughs> this tank has Monte Cristo cichlids. Uh, they're an American New World cichlid. And I've got uh, eight three inch juvies here that are growing out. And then I have a full size adult male in here who is awaiting a new tank as well. Let's check them out. These guys get amazing color. This is the adult male. Just look at him, his marks, his coloration, those blues, greens, beautiful reds. I also have some of these juvies available, so message me if you uh, like them. These guys are pretty hard to find, so, and you can see their colors and stripes are coming in very nicely. Now I'm here with Mitch. Uh, this is a 44-gallon fluval uh, old-school tank. He is a starry night cichlid, and as you can see, he's pretty worked up. He is the most aggressive fish that I have, uh, worse than the flower horn, in fact. So definitely you can see how reactive he is. I tried putting that adult Monte Cristo in with him, uh, introduced him for a ba through a barrier, for about a week, but it just didn't work. And he'll get me too. <laughs> Let's take a little closer look at him. He's got those gorgeous white spots, black body. These guys are native to Madagascar where they're endemic. Um, so yeah, that's in Africa. They got that yellowish patch on their face and cool eyes, but kind of spooky. <laughs> Just super worked up. All right. And here we have Hammer. Just did a water change on his tank this morning. So forgive the slight cloudiness. He is a Super Pearl King Kampha Flower Horn imported from Thailand. He is also up for grabs. Message me. Let's see. Yeah, he's not even as reactive as that... Uh, as that starry night, but he's still really cool. He's got the white eye, which is, uh, you know, not fairly common in the flower horn world, but uh, he is just gorgeous. He gets brighter red, but um, I just put him back in his tank from doing a water change. Uh, if I scrape algae or uh, do anything with the siphon, he attacks it, so I put him in a bucket while I do them. All right, let's check out some pool ponds. 
So here I am in my second bedroom where I've got a green 45 inch kiddie pool where I've got this girl hanging out. Here she is, a common snapping turtle. Let's see if she'll take a piece of shrimp. Oh, she sees it. There we go. It's a cool little creature. She's doubled in size. I got her last summer. I actually, she's in another video I have where I went to my friend's goldfish pond and helped her clear it out before winter. And that's where I got this girl. She was about the size of a 50 cent piece. Actually, she's like five times the size now. Holy crap. Got a couple feeders in there for her. Some wood. And uh, this is a pond filter that pumps out about 445 gallons per hour. Now, I've got some big cats growing out in this Intex. Uh, let's check them out. Oh, I'm going to have to search here since these guys all like to hide. Oh, there it goes. That was an Asian red tail baby. Just a juvie. Under this wood, another Asian red tail, a small sun cat, and a bigger sun cat. There he is. And then I've got this guy who's about a foot long a tiger shovel nose. So I've got something uh, in the works in the garage for when these guys get bigger. But uh, super cool little catfish pool grow out. Real quick behind me, I'm also growing out and getting uh, a baby pike uh, fattened up to move to a bigger tank and uh, hopefully in the native pond one day. Um, but let's do a quick feeding a live feeding for him. Um, and there is another one a couple videos down. You can check that out. Okay, so I've got some feeder platies here. Let's net one up. If I can, this is a stupid thing to put them in. Alright. Oops. Did I get it? Yes. It is. Oh, grabbed it right away. Super cool to watch these ambush predators catch their food. Speaking of the native fish, let's check out the six foot pond in the garage. Here we are uh, in my garage, and this is primarily a bass pond. Now, I caught all my native fish, uh, and we've got some bigger bass in here. Uh, there's a couple pan fish, um, and there's also a bullhead hiding in there somewhere. Let's see if we can see some bass. Got a DIY sump going and also a pond filter with a built-in UV sterilizer. There's one of the bass. This lid is made with a casting net, which I've explained in a past video. There's a crappie I caught. Let's see if I can lift this up and... Oh, here we go. Under the wood and plants, they like to go. Yeah. There goes a big guy. Maybe we'll lift this up and see better. Here we go. There's another smaller bass in here. Such cool fish. Pretty calm, too. Okay. Well, there you have it, guys. That's the stuff I have primarily going on right now. Stay tuned for more projects. And uh, next week we have an unboxing video coming up. So check that out. Uh, Unorthodox Aquatics, Ruby here. Subscribe to my channel or not. Doesn't matter. Um, and check out my OnlyFans. Um, it is called The Gypsy Mermaid. And I'll drop a link in the comments. See you guys later. Bye.
Thanks guys for joining me. This has been Ruby with Unorthodox Aquatics. Subscribe to my channel if you like or not. Um, and check out my OnlyFans, The Gypsy Mermaid. Thanks for coming by and I will see you guys next time. Bye.